Hello me TBDs, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be talking about my October favorites. October is my favorite month of the year, minus December. October and December are my months, you guys. I'm excited to share some of my favorites with you. I feel like I'm on this trend of lighter makeup and that's just as is, you know, kind of the beauty community right now. It's all about like fresh, glowy, very minimal makeup. So I did not do anything to my hair today. This is just like my natural hair. I washed it and I was like, you know what? I have time today. I'm just gonna let it air dry and not have to worry about putting heat on my hair because I feel like I put heat on my hair pretty much every day. So I'm just letting it be free, you know? Like we got some little wavy action happening probably from laying down when it was still wet. It's just doing its own thing today and it's a little bit more of a crazy main. So if you guys enjoy favorite videos, be sure to give this one a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I do upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So I have some makeup to share with you. I think I'll start there and then end with my lifestyle. That's typically how these favorite videos have been working out. First product I want to mention is this guy. I think I've talked about this so much on my channel, the Pure Raw Beauty Christy palette. I just cannot give her enough love. I think this palette is amazing. This is my favorite side of the palette, the one that has the gold lettering on it. There is also a double, like a backside to this that also has eyeshadows, but they are just a little bit more colorful. But I've just been using this. When I do wear eyeshadow, it's this palette. And I pretty much take a blend of these four browns right here. Sometimes I will put this middle shade on my eyelid just as like a pop of shimmer. I've been really loving a matte, semi-smoky kind of look. And I feel like it's very fall appropriate. So I've been loving this palette and it cannot get enough. I also love how tiny it is. Like compared to my other palettes, it has pretty much the same amount of shades, but it's just so much smaller. So I find myself reaching for it more. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder. This smells so strong and you gotta crane yourself to never open your mouth or breathe when you're applying this because it can definitely be a little bit overpowering. So it is a very strong scent, but I do really love how it sets down my skin. I'm wearing it as my powder today. I think it is one of my powders that keeps me matte the longest. However, I do only use it with foundations that are a little bit lighter than my neck because this can darken your foundation. So just be wary of that. I only use it when I have a foundation that's a little bit light for me. And then I put this on and it pretty much matches my neck after I apply this. So if you are super fair and you're like, I don't want anything to be darkening, then don't get this. But if you do end up getting it, I think you will like it because the formula is really good. All right, next favorite I have is the Benefit Hula Bronzer. This is so dirty. Look at that. Ew, look how dirty that is. I need a new one. <laughs> this is what the bronzer looks like. I'm wearing it today. It's just a really good matte neutral, not too cool tone, not too warm kind of bronzer. And I've just been loving it. I've pretty much just been using this for the whole month of October. For blush, this blush just comes on out. It finds its way into my everyday makeup products when fall comes around. This is the Becca Mineral Blush in the shade Songbird. This is so unique of a blush. I have had it for years. I do not have another blush that looks like this tone or has that like little shimmer. It does give a little bit of a glow to your cheeks. I just really love the terracotta warm blush look. Fall comes around and I'm like, I really like that blush. So let's apply that. And then I never stop using it. So pretty much use this every single day in October. I actually posted a video on this primer and some of the other products a few days ago. This is the XX Revolution Quick Fix Mattifying Primer. So XX Revolution is a newer brand at Ulta. You can only get it online that I can see. I don't think you can go in the store and buy it, but this is a mattifying primer. It does have a little bit of a tint to it. So keep that in mind. Um, I don't notice that it really adjusts the color of my foundation at all, but I really like this if you have oily skin. I really like how it blurs my pores, how it makes my skin look really smooth, and I notice that it does keep me matte throughout the day. So I really, really like this, and I'd say out of everything I tried in that video, 
I like this one the best and it's the one I've been reusing. All right, I have a lip product here. This is the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment in the shade American Woman. Okay, here's the thing. Rona has totally changed the game of going out. When you go out to dinner, you are fancy and you look nice because it is a special occasion. <laughs> Chris and I do not go out to dinner nearly as much as we used to. And a couple days ago was our eight year anniversary. And I was like, you know what? Which lip can I put on that looks nice, goes with pretty much everything, is neutral enough, and will last all the way through dinner without me having to go to the bathroom to reapply it? And I thought of this, this is just a great great liquid lip that's not too dry and it stays on for such a long time like this stays on through oil through eating drinking it's just such a good lip product and I know it's expensive but I do think that this is worth it I would say if you're thinking about getting a NARS lipstick get this over the NARS audacious lipsticks I just think that the formula is so much better than those but I do know those are a cult favorite so <laughs> treading lightly here I've just been noticing like when I do go out when I do wear a lip, it's gotta be this, and it's just so pretty. It's a beautiful, mauve neutral shade. This is what the wand looks like. It does have a little bit of an interesting doe foot, but it is so sharp. Like the tip of this is so skinny and pointed that it, it's so easy to draw your lips. You don't have to use a lip liner when you go in with this. This is what the shade looks like. Look at that. So pretty, it goes on insanely pigmented. You don't need very much of this. And it's just such a pretty neutral mauve pink. It is totally my color. It goes on very liquidy and then dries down very quickly. It doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't crack on your lips. It is a very, very comfortable liquid lipstick. And like I said, the shade is just so pretty. The next three products I have to talk about are all foundations. So the first one I wanna mention is from Physicians Formula. It's the Healthy Foundation. No one talks about this anymore, but it's still an amazing foundation. I have worn this so many times throughout this last month. I just noticed it is so pretty, so flattering. And it's one of the foundations that doesn't claim to be for oily skin that actually doesn't make me look like a grease ball. I can wear this all day long and by the end of the day, I'm not incredibly oily. So I really like how natural it looks on the skin. I love that it gives just a little bit of a healthy glow, but it's not dewy and it lasts a really long time on my skin. I get a little hesitant with foundations that don't claim to be mattifying or oil controlling because I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna be a grease ball. Not with this one and it's very pretty. The packaging's awesome. I'm actually getting so low on this. I am having to like scrape the bottom of this packaging to get all of it out and I am going to have to repurchase it when it's gone because it's so good. All right, another more natural foundation that I've been rocking lately is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick. <gasps> Look, I'm almost out. Oh no, I'm gonna have to order this one too. I didn't realize I was so low on this. This is one of the foundations that I think is so suitable for pretty much every single skin type. Looks really good when blended out with a brush. I'm someone that only blends out my foundation with a beauty blender or like a makeup sponge. So I'm very hesitant and like particular about the foundations that I use with a brush, but this is pretty much the only foundation I do use a brush to blend out. It gives such a nice satin matte, soft, natural looking finish to the skin. And I just noticed like, when I wear this out the day, I look at my skin and I'm like, oh, it just looks so nice and so natural. So I've been really loving this. And then my last foundation I wanted to mention is the Super Goop Daily Correct CC Cream. I'm wearing this today on my skin as my foundation and it is just so pretty. Again, very similar to these two where it's like more of a natural finish. It is pretty much as much coverage as you would like. I've been using just a little bit of this and it does give me a good medium coverage on the skin. It's like, let's see, 3.30 when I'm filming this and I applied this at nine this morning. It does get a little bit more glowy as the day goes on, especially if you do have oily skin, but I think it just looks so natural, so soft. I feel like when I wear this foundation, when people look at me, they don't feel like I have a ton of makeup on. That's it for my makeup favorites. On to the lifestyle favorites. So I want to mention these boots and they're a little bit dirty because I don't know what I did. I don't know where I went, but these are the boots that I want to mention. I got them from Amazon. I will link them below. They did say go like a half size down than your actual shoe size. So typically I'm a nine in shoes, but I got these in an eight and a half because they do 
tend to run big. But have you guys seen those like really expensive boots that look very similar to this and except they're not like this material, they're a leather material? Yeah, I think they're supposed to mimic those. <laughs> but these are amazing rain boots. If you want some boots that are not winter boots and you live somewhere that either you don't want your shoes to get wet, you know, or you have a little bit of weather, I think these are the perfect shoes for it. They slip on very easily easy like they're very stretchy they're very comfortable to wear throughout the day and they're black so they go with like everything and like I said the material is almost even nicer than leather ones because you can just wipe off whatever gets on these boots so this is the brand Asgard and they're the Asgard women's ankle rain boots waterproof they're the Chelsea boots and I got mine in the color black they have lots of different colors too burgundy navy Ooh, these ones would be pretty too the tan ones I really like these boots. They're pretty much my go-tos whenever it's a little bit snowy out, like there's still snow on the ground, but I don't need my heavy winter boots. These are perfect for that. Um, the next favorite I wanted to mention is this. This is Eucerin. My stepdad actually introduced me to this. I had only been using, what was it, like Cetaphil? I don't know, it's a big tub that says it was like moisturizing, but I think it was more for your face. Like I think it's a skincare product for your face rather than an eczema cream. So in the winter time here, I do get really rough, like bumpy, I don't know, it's itchy, it's bumpy on my hands, and I even get like some eczema spots on my arms, and so I have been loving using this. I've noticed like my hands are totally fine. I have no bumps, no itchiness at all. I just make sure that I put this on every single evening before I go to bed and put a little bit on in the morning. I have had no bumps yet, so that's awesome. On the packaging, it does say it's more rich of a cream, so it is going to stay on there. It's not a lotion where like the second you rub it in, it's gone. You do you feel this on your skin a little bit, but I really love that it doesn't have a fragrance or anything. So even if you do have it on your skin, it's not going to bother you if you are sensitive to smells. I do wish that it came in a smaller bottle though, because I kind of took like a travel squeeze bottle and put it in my purse because they, I couldn't find a smaller version of this. So if you know of any place to get smaller, like a travel size version of this, let me know. The next couple of favorites I'm actually wearing. The first favorite I want to mention is my necklace. This is an everyday heirloom company necklace off of Etsy. We know the brother of one of the owners of this brand. There's kind of like a little bit of a connection there. Basically, it's a family friend's brother's wife. This is what her shop looks like on Etsy. It's called Everyday Heirloom Company and she's based here in Denver. They make the most beautiful necklaces ever. Chris has gotten me so many necklaces from this Etsy shop because they just do such a good job. Everything is hand engraved. I have a lot of them that say W or K. All of their items are so beautiful. They are a little bit more expensive because they are like real, you know, gold, silver pieces, and it, they're basically like, hand, they are hand engraved. And so it's going to take a little bit more like love and work into each of these necklaces. They do come out with with new launches of their store every couple of months or so and they pretty much sell out like right away. They're just so good and I have had mine for a very long time. They have not like turned or anything. They're really nice and you can get either this level of a chain or you can get a little bit longer of a chain. This one actually was a limited edition one. And let me see if I can like hold it up and show you. This necklace has a little tree on it. Let's see if you can see it. And you guys see that? There's a little tree on one side and then on the back is the W. So it's really nice, very dainty just a beautifully made necklace. I think they do such a great job. All of my necklaces from them I love and I wear them pretty much daily. If you are thinking about a gift for your person for Christmas, this would be a great option. Then this jean jacket, I also wanted to mention. This is from Gap. This is the jean jacket that I got from Gap. This was on sale, so I think I got it for maybe like 35, 40 bucks. I needed a new jacket that was not cropped because my other American Eagle jean jacket comes to like here and I wanted one that was actually like went to my waist. 
I also got mine one size up so that number one, I can wear hoodies underneath it and I have a little bit more wiggle room in my shoulders because I do not wear jean jackets because I get headaches. I always get a headache when I wear one. However, this one I have worn a bunch and I have never gotten a headache from. I think it's a little bit stretchy, but not too much. I mean, it's not like an amazing, really high end, gonna last for years kind of denim jacket, but I do think that this is a really good quality one. It goes all the way to the end of my arm. I have actually really long arms, so things tend to be short on me. So if you have long arms, long torso, I think this would be a really good option for you because it fits me just fine. And I will be sure to link this down below if I can find it on their website. All right, books, let's talk books. So I read an amazing book this last month. I've got more into reading again, which is yay, go me. This is the book that I just read. It's called The Wish Collector by Mia Sheridan. This is what the cover looks like. It is OMG, you guys. It is so good. I cannot tell you how good this book is. So me and my friend actually made a book club for the year. And so we've been reading books like this, the same books every month. This was one of the ones that was like the very last book of our book club for this year. This book was so good. It gave me like Hunchback of Notre Dame or Phantom of the Opera vibes a little bit. I wish that I could tell a better version of like the description of the book. It's basically, there's a ballet dancer named Clara who's in New Orleans and she had just moved there and she had heard about a legend about a wall that's on a property that like if you make a wish to your wish will come true so she goes and visits this wall and doesn't just find the wall she finds something else kind of behind the wall I would say that this is definitely a love story with someone who has not had that great of a past and so you get to learn about like what's behind the wall and about what happens you know to Clara and whatever's behind the wall so I really enjoyed it like I said, I do think it's a love story, but it is a little bit of a mystery as well. I just thought it was a really great story and Mia did such a great job writing it. So whimsical. I love books like this. I would definitely recommend it if you haven't read it. It's just a single book. It's not a series. Now on to Spotify. I'm actually going to go and make my Spotify playlist like the second I get off this video. <laughs> so if you are interested in my monthly favorites, I do make a monthly Spotify playlist so that you can check out all of the music. Music I've been loving. Let me know down below if you guys have been utilizing it, if you think it's helpful, if you like me including music favorites. And also, as always, let me know what some of your favorites for the month have been. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.